Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Why Why Not with Janice. And I'm the host, Janice. Um, today we have a special guest here, who's our first guest. Um, her name is Teresa Knipe. I want to welcome you here. Teresa Knipe is from the Excel Center Goodwill in Indiana. And welcome, Teresa. Thank you. Um, just want to talk to you about the program that you're involved with. Okay. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you for bringing me on the show and having the opportunity to talk about um, our program that I'm involved with. So Excel Center is a high school, and it's for returning adults. We are an umbrella under Goodwill Michiana Industries. <laughs> and yes, it's the Goodwill that you think about with the retail stores. <laughs> so everybody's like, oh, wow, what's going on with, with that? And Goodwill actually has lots of different mm. um, uh, missions underneath their umbrella. So they're more than just retail. They're more than just a store. Okay. So um, our high school is one of those missions to, that feeds in t for the education. And it started off in Indianapolis. The mayor of Indianapolis at the time was trying to figure out a way to uh, give some more supply um, for the industries because okay. the, the students just weren't coming out of high school prepared. Okay. So they took this to Excel Center and said, hey, do you, know, have, do you have a program? And they said, yeah, we can do this. So the first draft of the Excel Center didn't go very well because it was all online. It was okay. all credit recoveries. Now was that all just in Indiana? Or? In Indianapolis it started. Okay. So then they redrafted the whole idea of Excel Center and what they really wanted it to be and they found that students are more responsive face to face. They want a teacher in front of them. They want other students mm -hmm. to conversate with and to socialize with, okay. very much like a traditional high school. Mm -hmm. okay. So that one turned out to be very successful, and Indianapolis opened up several more uh, Excel Center high schools all around. And now we are in different parts of the country. So we have Excel Centers in Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, DC, and we're looking to expand some more. Okay. So my part of Excel Center, we're in north, northern Indiana. Mm -hmm. We're actually the Michigan, Michiana Corporation. And we are, um, our school corporation, our school board is Goodwill Leeds. Okay. So there are three of our campuses in this Northwest Territory. And we have, our first school in this area was in South Bend. Mm -hmm. Our second yeah. campus we opened up was in Hammond, and the campus that I work at is in Gary. Now you're at the third school. Correct. That's at Gary. Yes. Okay. Now this is a school for returning adults. Yes. Okay. Now how different is that with returning adults? Now these are um, adults, I assume, that they dropped out for some reason, either, I mean, everyone has it, I mean, family issues, having mm -hmm. kids, having to work, um, that type of thing. Yes. Or having difficulty. Now you're having these adults come back mm -hmm. that struggled before. How is it different for them to go back as an adult? How is your program different versus like getting a GED? What do you offer that adults going to say, yes, I really need to go back and this is the program for me? Okay. So first of all, let me explain. Adult, the student needs mm -hmm. to be 18 years or older. Okay. And that's so that we don't compete with our local high schools for any funds. Mm -hmm. In the in a traditional K-12 setting. Okay. So, one advantage to coming to us, a, a, a returning adult would say, "Hey, I'm not going to be in classes with all mm -hmm. these immature students that are too young. Mm -hmm. I can focus. I was, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't finish my high school career for some reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe I got sent to jail. Maybe I just got kicked out because of behavior. Maybe I got pregnant." Maybe I moved around a lot. Maybe I just felt high school wasn't for me. Maybe I needed a little bit more time. Okay. So our school helps those students come back. Mm -hmm. They're able to have a teacher in front of them. We work one-on-one -on -one with students when they need to. Uh, we have a lot of other benefits. We have... Uh, 
life coaches on staff and a life coach is very similar to a counselor in a traditional high school but our life coaches are so much more than that. Now why do you have life coaches versus counselors? Because typically when you're in high school or college you have a counselor that mm -hmm. helps pick the classes out. Yes. Why do you have a life coach? Because a life coach, as I know, is I'm a life coach also, a life coach helps people figure out where they want to go from here to there, their likes, dislikes, motivation. Why, is you, why do you have life coaches versus counselors there? That's exactly the reason. Okay. Uh, our life coaches help our students progress from high school, so they're not only in charge of helping them uh, break through academic barriers. They're also mm -hmm. going to help them uh, break through economic barriers, uh, other social barriers. Maybe they have a hard time just um, in communication with other students. Uh, maybe they, uh, if, if they're needing housing or help with electric bills or that right. type of situation, different financial. Our partners are, are so our, our life coaches are okay. that connection with, the, with our partners. Okay. and help our students get in contact and find some of those resources that they can't necessarily find by themselves. So your program is for adults yes. who've had problems in the past, couldn't finish their high school diploma. Mm -hmm. So your program that you're with mm -hmm. actually helps people get their diploma. Yes. Plus, with the life coaches, it sounds like you also gear their towards jobs or their future mm -hmm. and help them with that. Correct. So are there regular classes they take or how do they also help with their future? Okay. So our program, I'd like to emphasize mm -hmm. that we, our students come out with a core 40, an academic diploma. Okay. It is not a GED program. Mm -hmm. uh, a GED, I would never discourage somebody from getting a GED. Mm -hmm. We're just a different mm -hmm. pathway. Right. A GED uh, is a very quick answer for those of students who can test very well. Some students cannot test very well and so they need to have that teacher in front of them. They prefer to get that high school diploma and some employers would prefer a high school diploma. Um, now I was reading, because uh, this whole show is talking about empowering people, mm -hmm. that even there's a big discrepancy in income from getting a high school diploma versus not getting a high school mm -hmm. diploma. Do you kind of gear this towards your students and tell them get the diploma versus the GED? Why do you gear them that way? We don't gear them, they come to us. Okay. So uh, we work with a lot of high schools when they see a student that may not be on track with their high school career, mm -hmm. they'll suggest us. They also okay. suggest GED programs. So it depends on the student what they want to do. Okay. Now one advantage to coming to us is with the help of our life coach, those, our students will learn some mm -hmm. soft skills. Mm -hmm. So they will learn how to uh, write resumes, how to interview, how to talk professionally, how to mm -hmm. write professionally. They will also be enrolled in some sort of certification class, so okay. a work study or dual credit classes. So we want our students to transition from high school, ready for the workforce or the college force. So one of our requirements, in addition to getting that Core 40 diploma, is a work-study certification, certification mm -hmm. or a dual credit in one of our partner colleges. Now, your requirements. Now, I know it's supposed to be people over 18. Yes. But are there any testing requirements, any mm -hmm. um, contracts, anything that they have to do to be in that program, like even attendance? How do you work that out with the students? So, I'd like to emphasize that our program is free. It is a goodwill mission. Okay. So students that attend, the only thing that we ask of them is to be there for attendance. Mm -hmm. Now that is very important because our program is accelerated. So it's an eight week program and we offer five terms throughout the year. So they're eight weeks mm -hmm. every wow. term. Wow. <laughs> so it, it, goes, it does go by That's fast. That's pretty fast. That is pretty fast. And for weeks. some students, it's, a, yeah. it's great because it's just what they need. Some of mm -hmm. our students come in with already high school credits behind them. Okay. And so they might just need to finish with us to do a couple um, finishing courses, mm -hmm. maybe do some credit recovery and uh, retake a class to get their GPA up if they want to do the college, mm -hmm. the college route. So you will take, um, you'll look at the transcripts, I assume. Yes. And you'll see exactly where they're at. Do you also mm -hmm. test them? Yes. You know, because I'm thinking high school, now I'm adult, 20 years old, coming back, 30 years old, 40 years old. And I was even a returning college student. Yes. So as adult. So I had to do testing. So do you test them? Yes. 
So what the process would look like is a student would come, they would apply. They can apply online or they can apply mm -hmm. um, with us there in our campus. And we would give them a, a, pre, uh, a pretest. Okay. And that's just to kind of figure out where are they starting with? Mm -hmm. You know, what are their math, what's their math level, what's their reading comprehension level? Okay. And that's going to help us figure out what class to put them in. Because we don't mm -hmm. want them to just be thrown into a class and not succeed like right. they might have already done in high school. Right. So once, tho once those come through, we look at their transcripts. And some students don't come in with any credits in their transcripts. Ooh, so then they would well. start from zero, which is okay, okay also. So they can come in. They can come in with zero credits. And it would take them a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But we offer two credits in the morning, two in the afternoon, and two in the evening. So it, the program is going to move as fast as the student wants it to move. But attendance is key. Because mm -hmm. we're eight weeks, missing one day is like missing a week. Okay. So it's, it's very much up to the student to, you know, they need to right. be here. So, so w as they advance through their, their high school program, through our program, they're going to also take our state required mm -hmm. uh, ECA tests. Okay. And those ECA tests are in math and in English. So your program is really geared, it sounds like a wonderful, great program. It's geared for adults. Mm -hmm. Um, it seemed like even the timing. You can take classes, I understand, morning, afternoon, and evening. Mm -hmm. And depending on where they're at from their past history in high school, they can earn as many credits as they need. Yes. If they're zero, they can come back and take all the classes, mm -hmm. eight weeks, and five terms a year. Now, how does that really fit into the program? A lot of these adults have kids, wives, husbands. How does your program connect it with the life of a regular adult that needs to do this? That's why we offer the, the different times of classes, because mm -hmm. we want the student to be successful, but we understand that they have life happening also all around them. Right. They have children, they have work, they have spouses they have to tend to. They have to get their kids off and on the bus. So we our classes are designed mm -hmm. so that there's two morning classes, mm -hmm. so if they work at night, they can take a morning, they can uh, skip the afternoon if they have to be there for their children, and then they can come back at night if they wish to do so. Now for our younger students, or some parents have young babies, we take seven yeah. weeks to seven years old also, and that okay. is also free. And we have a director in our corporation who has a phenomenal program. Um, and it's more than just a drop-in center for us. So while the babies are learning, mom and dad is learning also. So That's your Kid Excel it. program that yes. you have, your Kid Excel. Yes. So parents can come to school with their kids, and the kids are learning. It's not just a daycare. It's more than a daycare because they're learning also. They're learning also. Yeah. Now, do you have other activities for the adults also to make them feel like they're accepted and comfortable and welcome. Besides, I know you have the life coaches, yep. but what other things do you do that helps the adult feel comfortable to go back? That's a hard thing. Yes. It's really hard to go back. It really is. I know for me going back to college, it was very hard. Mm -hmm. So I know for adults having to go back to high school and everything, that's very hard. So how do you make them feel comfortable? So culture is so important at our schools and each one of our campuses run it a little bit different because our culture is a little different from campus to campus. But one uh, activity that we like to focus on, we do pep rallies, we do end of the term celebrations to celebrate most improved student, academic performance, that sort, that sort of thing. We also have our student government where the students help to make decisions on what they like to see, how to help motivate other students. We really want them to be advocates for themselves okay. and really take charge of uh, this change that's happening and mm -hmm. show other students and be um, mm -hmm. mentors for them also and so and show them that yes this is a scary process but we're doing it you can do it you know come on in with us and we'll just embrace you also because one of the first things in people getting their life geared um, towards the future they need to get that education behind them mm -hmm. because like the studies show there's such a vast difference between without a diploma high school diploma yeah associates, bachelors, I mean there's a difference of hundreds of thousands of dollars you make going on if you get higher degrees. So first start is definitely getting um, their high school diploma. Yes. Now there's different diplomas I thought in Indiana. 
why do you guys um, at Excel Center focus on the core 40? The core 40, that number 40 comes from the amount of uh, credits available that the state seems to, uh, the, the state deems that are important. So there are so many math credits, there are so many English credits, and there, it's a minimum competency level that the state says, okay, once you have passed these classes, now you are um, at, at a competency level that's going to move you on and be, find success mm -hmm. in college. Right. So there are different academic uh, diplomas, there are different technical mm -hmm. diplomas for technical schools and different honor programs. Um, but because our school is mm -hmm. so unique, we offer the work certifications and and or the dual credits, mm -hmm. those um, those will all kind of be encompassed with our diploma also. Now I checked out your website. Mm -hmm. um, you can give the audience a website if you like to. That's excelcenterhs.org. Okay. Um, I checked out the website, mm -hmm. and they were saying that you can also, and you're saying the work certification, mm -hmm. You can get your CNA. So you can get your high school diploma and your CNA. So you're preparing these adults for jobs also. Yes. It's yes. not just for uh, a high school diploma. You're making sure, bam, you get your diploma, and bam, we're actually getting you a higher level yep. to either a certificate or college. Now, personal question. Would you recommend it to someone? I know you work there, but would you recommend it to someone? I would recommend it to someone. I actually have my daughter who is enrolled in one of the campuses. Uh, she had a she has a learning disability, and her high school path was just not working for her for so many years, and she just needed a little bit more time during her senior year, junior year, to kind of finish off what she needed to do mm -hmm. and pass um, her ECA the uh, assessments, the end of the year assessments. And she's finding uh, tremendous success and she loves it there. Uh, the culture is so different. There's not all the drama that there is in high school. <laughs> and you know, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. um, and especially in this day and age, yeah. bullying is, is yeah. not a nice thing. And, it, and yeah. um, it's, it stops a lot of students and gives them a bad, mm -hmm. um, want to go right. back to school and do what they need to do and um, when you're that age y you live and die by what's happening all around you but at mm -hmm. our schools at our at our campuses one thing like I said culture is very important to us and the students know that hey they're all here for the same reason okay. they're all here for the same reason mm -hmm. so we're all going to get through it and we're all going to graduate and walk across that stage yeah, I was going to ask you how is the makeup of the students are do they camaraderie like they all together let's go for that they're understanding uh -huh. you know I remember in high school you know you made fun of you said the wrong words everyone's going to make fun of you wow. or I got something wrong I had to go to the board everyone's going to say something yeah. so how is that what adults going back and you know you're all in the same atmosphere so how do your teachers even associate and make it comfortable or how do the students come together yeah that you don't have so that? especially back in the 80s during the time I went to high school, I mean, their cliques were everywhere. And if you had to find a clique to fit in, or you didn't fit in, and sometimes that wasn't a clique and it's all itself. Right. Um, but it really right. is a great uh, sight to see when our students, so actually at one of the campuses, we actually have two students that are that became engaged. So not only are they coming out with their diploma and their work study, they're coming out with a degree, in, uh, a ring in hand, ring in and hand. they're going to get married. So Class it, ring yes, and a wedding ring. And okay. a wedding ring, yeah. so, That's really cool. Um, at lunchtime, when uh, we're on break, the students go to the, um, the student uh, uh, lunch room, and they mm -hmm. have all their, their babies with them. And it's truly a, a remarkable sight to see so many they're all friends I, mm. and friends and family, and they're not mm. blood family, but they become blood family, become or they family. become family. And they're helping each other with their kids, and just everybody is, is just interacting, and the little babies know each other together, and they're all eating together, and it's just a fun time. And mm. the teachers are so inspired, because guess what? We get to teach. Get to teach. So, you know, coming from uh, some traditional K-12 schools, mm -hmm. we know how difficult that is sometimes. Right. Because not only do we have the drama, we have the politics. And yeah. teaching is, you know, kind of what we're there to do, but right. we can't do all the time. Right. So when, um, when I started at my new campus, and mm -hmm. I was hiring these teachers, you know, 
we're, get, we're, we're actually saying, wow, we had a great lesson today. We actually got to teach it. <laughs> <laughs> and you had a, a, a time for teaching also. And you yes. know how difficult and challenging yes. that can be. And, um, yes, very you know, challenging. Students want to be there. Right. Students want to be there. And for them to know that a teacher is there and wants to help them. And it's not a lot. going to judge them. Jim, not going to judge them. Not going to judge I, them. I was a special ed teacher for one year in the Chicago Public Schools. And it was a joy. And my students um, bonded. And we got them learning. And yeah. it was definitely something that's yeah. joyous to do. Now, for me, when I became a special ed teacher, I was actually... A adult going back. Okay. Um, I was a special ed teacher. Actually, I became one at the age of I think 43. Now, what I know about you also, teaching was not your first career. No. No. So we also want to also empower people and tell people about even having to think about that second chance and thinking of different careers later on in life. Can yeah. you please tell us about that? I actually tried to stay mm. away from teaching for as long <laughs> as I could. My mother was a teacher. I come from a long line of teachers. My cousins were teachers, and I always said, no, teaching is not what I'm going to do. Um, I understand. But lo and behold, mm -hmm. um, my mother is probably my my role model for the whole thing, for, the, for, for where I'm at right now, but don't okay. tell her I said that. Um, uh. So... <laughs> My first, my first profession, I was a chemist and okay, worked chemist. in industry. Okay. And worked in industry for more than ten years, and I always thought that that's where I was going to continue on. Okay. So, due to some layoffs, and that gave me an opportunity to kind of really find what did mm -hmm. I want to do because I really wasn't mm -hmm. jumping right back into industry. Okay. So a friend of mine let me know that there was a position at a local uh, community college that had okay. opened up. So and you I taught college too then? I started you teaching there and okay. I had success with it mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it so I went back to school also later on in life. <laughs> so <laughs> like went, back, went back for education mm -hmm. certification and um, became a science teacher so I was able to merge my past life with my current life okay. and uh, that trip has been yeah. a, a fun time. I've written so many grants. I've had the opportunity to travel, which is so unlike a teacher right. to do. You're usually in a classroom, now, and I love your, the classroom. Now, one of your grants was uh, you developed a program in the high school for girls. I did. It was a STEM program, and that was called Chicks with Brains. Chicks and with Brains. Chicks with Brains, and it was a great program at the time in the, in the K-12, and uh, the grant was uh, reaching so many more programs than just mine, but mine was just a small part of that program. So we were able to help fund um, like a rocketry club or science Olympiad, uh, different science programs within okay. our school. Uh, and uh, but, but and you won that grant. You went to Washington D.C. and I did. I had a chance to go to D.C. I've been to New York. Um, had a chance in North Dakota. What's in North Dakota? Yeah, so I've been in a lot of different <laughs> places. So coming back to your question about that whole midlife and right. trying to figure it out, mm -hmm. you know, you never know what, where your path is going to take you. You just, okay. you know, have right. to have a, 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 heart of, a heart and a mind of, of yes. You know, I'll try it. Try it. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why not? Why, why, why not? not? you got to try things. When opportunities come, you need to go for it, and that's what you need to do. Yeah. You need to go for it, and it's great that you did go for it. Now, you've went back mm -hmm. as an adult. You're teaching students that are going back as adults. Yes. What advice would you give them from your experience on how to go back and do this and with being a parent, and you're a mom of nine kids, um, it's a you know, nine kids and being a chemist and everything else. So how did you jumble all that? How would, what would you tell a student going back how to do everything? Buy some hair color. <laughs> <laughs> That's my secret. <laughs> um, well, hmm. so it was, it was <laughs> advice. Hair well, color. <laughs> You know, I don't, my, my only advice would be to, to go ahead and have a heart of yes. My balance comes from prayer. I'm a, a Christian woman, and that's where I have my resolve. So for me, that was the path yeah. I took, and that's yeah. what I had to listen to. Right. And as long as I was moving forward, and it you know, was going to help my family, 
mm -hmm. and help me grow and not be miserable. Because mm -hmm. um, I'm not a big risk taker, but not mm -hmm. for risk's okay. sake. I always had to put my, mm -hmm. my uh, family first and think about them, but I had to be practical about it too. So okay. students coming back, um, yes, there's a risk of failure, but to know that teachers at Excel centers, that no matter what program you do, whether you do an HSE or a GED, it's only going to benefit you. Okay. You know, we're just one path. And even just staying in your high school, it's going to benefit you. You have to, you have to deal with some of the, the crap that you don't want to deal with, but at the end, it's always going to be a positive, positive road to take. Okay, now you normally have like open houses or, you know, please give the audience uh, the um, website address for them to get more information mm -hmm. for your program will be great. Um, just, it's just wonderful talking to you because it's, Getting people, and this is the whole program about getting people in gear and get fired up for the next level, you know. And I know when you went back to school, you were thinking, oh, yeah, there's a little fear here. And now you're working with other students that are having that fear. Yeah. And it's just joyous to tell people you can overcome, you can go to the next level, you can make it. There's other people out here that's did it for mm -hmm. you. And we can do it. We can mm -hmm. do it as a group. We can motivate each other, and that's what you have your life coaches for there. Yes, we have our life coaches, our teachers. Um, we have two graduations. Okay. We have graduations in December and in June. So um, our Hammond campus just experienced their first year in uh, being open, and we already mm -hmm. graduated 20 students. 20 students. Uh, South Bend has mm -hmm. more than that, uh, probably 20 students twice a year, December and January. Oh, okay. And so we're looking for a great turnout at our Gary campus also. Mm -hmm. So our website is Excel, E-X-C-E-L, Center, C-E-N-T-E-R, all one word, H-S, all one word, dot org. Dot org. Yep. Okay, great. And so on that website, you can uh, apply online. You can look at our other campuses. We also have Facebook accounts, mm -hmm. so you can see... Uh, what's going on and so our students are just ready and willing to help out also okay and this is definitely the first step yes it's the first step getting your education behind you because once you get that behind you, you can go to the next level in college mm -hmm. and you can move on yes you know the higher pay and just the satisfaction of I did accomplish this yes that's one of the first things I've accomplished it I can do it I can make it move on to the next and your program at the Excel Center sounds like a wonderful program, wonderful teachers. You know, I'm um, hoping you wonderful blessings that you will be a wonderful director and many students come out there. Me too. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're, still, we're, still, we're still taking in students. So our next term, our, our actually our next term uh, starts November 7th. So we are taking applications now for all of our three campuses okay. here up in the uh, Indiana area. So if you're Great. in Indiana and you need your high school diploma, come and visit us. Great, and it's just wonderful that um, the program. I mean, I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna definitely tell people I know because that's what I want people to do is get empowered that they can go to the next level, okay? Sounds good. So thank you very much for Teresa for coming. I appreciate talking to you. Thank you. And sharing with the audience this wonderful thing. And um, what I want to tell the audience, thank you very much. This is our first show, um, Why, Why Not, um, with Janice. And I'm Janice. Thank you very much. I hope you like the show and you're informed. Uh, we will be on Facebook and um, a website also at whywhynot.com. Um, please um, visit us if you have any suggestions for the show, uh, want to come on, anything like that. Please drop us a line whywhynot.com. We have our website and the email. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.